Hi guys, this is Amar and welcome to Network Engineer Stuff. So guys, in this video, we'll focus on configuration of extended access control list that is extended ACL in Cisco Packet Tracer. So in last video, we have seen that how to configure standard access list. But there's a difference between um, standard access list and extended access list, right? Standard access list allow us to filter the traffic based on only source IP address. Whereas extended access list allow us to filter the traffic by using source IP, destination IP, protocol type, source and destination port numbers. So this is a more difference between an extended access list and a standard access list. Extended access list give us more control over filtering the traffic since it uses multiple parameters I'll say for filtering. So let's configure an extended access list over here the lab which we will take is the same lab which we took in the last video so this will be our lab let me clear this stuff so this will be our lab so this will be our router on which we will be configuring the access list the extended access list and this have these two interfaces gig 0 slash 0 slash 0 which have the ip address of 10.1.1.1 slash 24 which will be the gateway for this laptop and for this pc Laptop have the IP address 10.1.1.100 and the PC have the IP address 10.1.1.101. Whereas this router also have the second interface which is gig 0 slash 0 slash 1 which have the IP address 20.1.1.1 slash 24 which is the default gateway for this server which have the IP address of 20.1.1.100. Now what I have done guys is I have configured these interfaces given the IP addresses, so those interfaces and the IP addresses are already configured. So, what extra thing I have done in this, I'll tell you. For this server, what I have done is, I have, uh, I have configured this particular services, okay, which is HTTP and HTTPS, okay. So, if you see here, I have made it on. Okay, so guys, HTTP is what? HTTP is TCP port number 80, right? It is TCP port number 80 and HTTPS is TCP port number 443, okay? So, these are the two services basically which are running on this particular server. So, on this server, we have this particular services which is port number 80 we will say and port number 443 http and https okay services are identified the port numbers so correct so these are the port numbers or the services which are currently running on the server and what we have is this particular uh, end users this pc and this laptop they are able to access this port numbers i will show you how let us show you we will check it so I log in into this PC first of all. Okay. This is a command prompt. Okay. And uh, if you wanted to check any time, you know, from from uh, this particular host, we have to check whether the server's port number is open or not, whether these are accessible or not. You can use this command telnet followed by the server's IP and followed by the port number. Now let's say I have to check whether port number 80 is accessible or not from this PC. So, I will use port 80, okay. And if you get this output like this, okay, open. That means the port is accessible. That means on the PC, the service of HTTP is accessible from the, uh, from, from the PC, it is accessible, right, of the server. Now, we will check for port number 443 also. 443, yes, this is also open, good. Now, from the laptop also, I'll check the same thing. I'll go in the command prompt and I'll check telnet 20.1.1.100. .1 port number 80, accessible, good. Port number 443, accessible, good. So, this both the services are accessible for this server, okay? So both the services are accessible currently. Now we will configure this access list on this router and we will block port 
will block basically this laptop only. Okay, it will block this particular laptop to access port number 80 of the server. Okay, so you should configure an extended access list on the router to achieve that this from the source, which is this laptop, it should not be able to access destination, which will be the server. So this will be destination IP, right? Servers port number 80. It should be able to access port number 443, that is HTTPS. But it should not be able to access port number 80. Okay. So source port, source IP address will be 10.1.1.100. Destination IP address will be 20.1.1.100. Destination port number, destination port number will be 80. So destination port number will be 80. Of course, this particular PC 0 should be able to access both the ports as it is currently able to access port number 80 and port number 443. Okay, so let's configure it. So I log in into this router. And first of all, we'll check whether any access list is present or not. Oh, so there's no access list currently present. So I'll go in this configuration mode of the router. I have three things to filter. A source IP address, destination IP address and destination port number. So I'll start the configuration access list. So if you see here, we have two options. Standard and extended. Now we want extended access list. Of course, then we will have to select something from this range. From this range, we have to select. So I'll select 100. So, this is numbered access list. Okay. So, that's the reason we have selected a number. Now, it is giving us some option. Now, this is very important. Deny permit or remark. Deny or permit. Of course, deny. Because we have to deny the access of the laptop to the port number 80 of the server. Correct. So, we will use deny keyword. Now, here we have the option to select the protocol. Now, which protocol we wanted to block? Of course, TCP, right? Because these services are using TCP as the protocol. So, it will be TCP. Question mark. It is a single host, right? So, I can use the keyword host. And uh, what is the source IP? Now, here it will ask for the source IP. So, the source IP is 10.1.1.100. Question mark. Now here, if have this destination address, of course we have to filter it on basis of the destination IP address. So we have to mention the destination IP address as well. We can we can mention the destination IP address. It is also single host only. But I will show you some other way. You can use this IP address like twenty dot one dot one dot hundred. Now if you use this IP address, it will ask for the destination wildcard bits. Now it's a single host. Okay. So, it will be having the subnet marks of slash 32. So, the wildcard marks will be 0 0.0.0.0. .0 .0 .0. Okay, so, this is nothing but host 20.1.1.100. I can write here host 20.1.1.100 or I can use 20.1.1.100 space 0 .0 .0 0.0.0.0, the wildcard marks. Followed by, followed by, we have to mention the destination port number, right? So, we have to use this keyword, EQ. EQ means match only packets on the given port number. So, we have to match the packets. So, here we have the option port numbers. So, we can give any port number which ranges from 0 to 65,535. So, our port number is 80. We can also use this keyword www which is HTTP 80. So, we can use that as well but we will use 80. Now, if you check show IP access list. Now, this is our access list which we have configured, right? So, you can see here, this is my protocol uh, TCP. This is the host. This is the destination. And this is the port number, that is destination port number, which is 80, www. Now, guys, most of the engineers make a mistake that they end up configuring this much only. 
now you all may be aware that there is an implicit deny at the end of the access list so we have to configure that as well to allow the other traffic right we have to permit the other traffic we don't have to deny everything we don't have to restrict everything correct we have to restrict only this particular statement that is this particular source uh, and uh, to 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 access this service at service port number at service of the destination the rest of the services need to be uh, need to be true the traffic should be flowing right so let's permit the other traffic so access list 100 permit ip any any okay so i have configured the access list now i have configured the access list but guys this is of no use unless and until we apply it on an interface so we have to apply it somewhere right so let's come to our topology now i have to apply it somewhere now extended access list guys is always placed close to the source now the reason behind it is that the extended access list give us the filtering basis on source ip destination ip protocol type source and destination port number so so it gives you more control over uh, over the controlling of more traffic filtering options it gives you right so it's better to apply it on the on the port number of the router which is the closest to the source so it will give you the precise control okay that uh, who can access what okay so exactly it will give you who can access what so if you control if you if you want more control apply it on this particular interface which is close to the source so i'll i'll apply in the close whereas you, you might have seen in the in the standard access list chapter that we applied it close to the destination okay so we'll apply here to close to the source because simply because it gives you more controlling of filter filtering options okay it gives you more options of filtering so i have to apply over here that is fine on git 0/0/0 but the direction is also important now the traffic is going to flow from this source to this destination right so for the router it will be the inwards traffic so i have to apply it in the in direction so i will apply it in the in direction so where is my router guys this is the router and i'll go on the interface gig 0/0/0 ip access group 100 that is the name of the access list and followed by the direction now here you will have for inbound or outbound we have inbound so will applied it okay so now the access list is applied we'll check the access list show ip access list so this is our access list fine now we will check whether our access list is correctly applied or not i'll access the laptop and from the laptop i'll try to open port number access port number 80 of the server 20.1.1.100 so let's do it now if you see it is trying 20.1.1.100 it is trying it is trying it is trying now it will get time out because we have blocked it yes it got timed out okay now if you see over here to show you one more thing which is but useful now this is a difference okay which will make a difference in your observations show ip access list okay now what is the difference between this output and this output okay this is the output where you see some matches why we are seeing this matches this matches are nothing but hits the traffic hits okay we started some traffic from the laptop okay it came to the router it particular hitted this particular access list which was applied in the in direction okay and it matched it got matches so that is the reason why it is showing the matches so it got some hits now if you see i'll go on the laptop again and i'll try to again do it okay and i'm again trying to uh, access port number 80 of the server now if you see the matches will increase because it is getting the hit over here right it is getting the hit you can see yes the matches are increasing 
okay so in this way you can you can verify you know whether your uh, access list is currently working or not so it is currently working so if you apply this access list and if you see there are some matches that means some traffic came and your access list worked perfectly and it blocked it okay and it blocked whatever you whatever was required correct so now let's check one more thing it is blocked port number 80 but we need to make sure that it is have only blocked port number 80 not something else so let's check whether it is blocked port number 443 or not 443 no 443 is accessible okay so what we have achieved here is that from this laptop i am not able to access port number 80 i am only able to access port number 443 but from this pc guys i should be able to access both the port numbers right so what i'll do i'll check that also let's verify that also because guys you should be very careful whenever you are applying access list in your network it gives you a filtering but sometimes if you wrongly configure it it will block the access of the of the required uh, request also so you should be very careful while applying the access list so let's check from the pc port number 443 of the server yes we are able to open we are able to access port number 80 yes we are able to access so both the ports are open both the ports are accessible so guys this is what i wanted to show you in this particular video extended access list it gives you more control as compared to the standard access list now if you want guys the notes of this particular uh, access list you can get it on my blog uh, networkengineerstuff.blogspot.com you can get it you can find your extended access list as well as uh, standard access list so i have Uh, mention the configurational stuff for here you can go and check if you want notes related to some other topic you can go here in this search this block option over here let's say i want the notes related to ipsec so if i go and check for ipsec so if i search by ipsec i'll get the notes of ipsec as well so you can see over here the notes if you want the notes related to let's say something related to eigrp whatever i've made guys what i try whatever videos i make i try to you know provide the notes also on this blog but even if you need uh, the notes uh, some different notes which are not available on the blog you can uh, you can mail me on this particular uh, mail address uh, that is uh, uh, network engineer stuff at the rate gmail.com you can mail me i'll give this email address in the description section of this video and there's one whatsapp number also which will all, which which also i'll give in the description section of this video you can also whatsapp me on that particular number now guys i'll stop here i'll uh, catch up you in the next video but before stopping this video i'll request all the viewers to please subscribe my channel network engineer stuff to please hit that like button guys please do give me an appropriate feedback uh, please give a comment on this video which will motivate me to make more videos so guys guys i'll stop here i'll catch up in the next video till then bye thanks and have a nice day thank you